hello all welcome to the channel this video is the uh, part of inventory management or stock management of sap business for module today i'm going to discuss about the unit of measurements and uh, the relation between them and at the end this talk this video will be cover the assigning units of measurement to the item describe the relationship of different types of unit of measurement and changing the conversion rule uh, for the specific item and we're going to discuss everything right after this So let's assume that your company is buying and uh, selling the product into the different unit of measurements and uh, for that you have to uh, define the different purchase purchase uh, sales and uh, uh, and the storage units in your item master data for that particular items and let's assume that maybe that's for example the paper right so the paper may be purchased in the cartons or the pallets and then sold it into the package or uh, like six of packs right so for example like one item can have the different uh, different ways to buying and selling so in here like typical business scenario would be an item be sold in the different types right uh, in like you can send it as a package you can send like a six pack or 12 pack or you can send a small pack like six papers or something in a, in a small pack right but in, you are buying it as a pallet or the carton and uh, you are storing it as just the package hmm like the big boxes of the paper right so uh, and we are using the different um into the different uh in the different ways right in the purchasing we are using different in the sales we are using different and in the warehouse we're using different so we're gonna mimic all the behavior into the sap business one and we will also try to understand all the logics behind that and how we can uh, convert one um to the another um and the relationship between them and uh, so let's let's just start so what happened is like when you create the item master data, you assign a UM to uh, to a particular item, right? So for example, let's open an item master data, and when you try to add them, you will see you assign a uh, you assign a UM group into the item master data, and the group contain all the relevant unit of measurement that you need for the item as well as the relationship between the units, right? So in our example, we can assign the paper UM because it has the all uh, all the measurements but before assigning we have to define them so uh let's uh, to define them you can go to the administration setup uh inventory and you see here two like one is the unit of measurement and one another one is the unit of me measurement groups right so first we will talk about the unit of measurement and unit of measurement setup is also called the global unit of measurements right so this is this is the global property of the um which contain all the length width height volume and everything of a particular uh, of a particular item right and there is a table uh, with a list of all possible of units right and this is the global um so uh, let's say the single item for this table can then be grouped together into the into here so for example you can define a particular group for the particular item and uh, you can prescribe the base um of that particular one with the quantity so let's just start defining the global uh, unit of measurements so we could make the pack right and the dimension of this one we can do that the 21 35 right then i'm gonna make the six pack and that could be also the name description could also be the six pack on that and then the next one could be cotton right and then you can define the pattern we just make the unit of measurements now we have to define that into our list of measurements so i'm here gonna be say this is the paper because the pay, this is basically uh, all the unit of measurement that we define the, in the setup is like basically the paper the kind of paper uh, dimensions we have to define the base um so i'm gonna say the base um would be uh, 
the base we will be the back in here right so we can update that and then we can make the paper here right now you can define uh, the multiple groups so for example i'm gonna say six of uh, six would be the six pack right with the base quantity of six then we can say that it would be 24 carton right it would be only one quantity and that would be the 24 quantity of packet that would be the carton and one pallet is equal to 48 pack of uh, 48 pack right so this is how you can define and here the conversion rate and in the groups so now if you go back into the item master area you will see only one uh, category so let's close that and go back to the item master area now if you're gonna go add and sorry into the um you will see only one and it will tell you that the remove all the associates is purchase and everything you will see the type uh, like which kind of uh, type you which kind of pricing unit you want with the different kind of groups that you define if you want to select the different one uh, with the price and all you can define here as well right the six pack cardinal palette of the everything and then you can define the barcode the unit price of one pack right and you can also define into the uh, purchase uh, into into your purchase items like which kind of unit uh, you are selling right and let's say you are as in our example as we saw that we are buying in the pallet so we can just set up a set up it as a pallet right in here but you are selling it in a carton so you can set up in the sap business one as a uh, as a six pack let's say because we are selling as a six pack right so that's how you can uh, you can define right and the one thing that we have to remember is like the packaging type is uh, not the sales um so that's how you define in the sales um right and same in the here how you are managing in the warehouse so in the warehouse you're managing as a pack in our example so that's what we selected as well and then you can just define an item in here right so the second case would be in here would be like uh, changing the conversion rate within one um group for one particular item so let's say you have to create the uh, basically in here you have to create the second um group which include an identical set of um of the first group but the new group can also contain the additional conversion rate right so assigning the affected item to the new um group 2 you see that the conversion rate is still the same as the first original um group right but here we have to uh, remember that we will not able to change any conversion rate if there is any open document uh, if you already created uh, uh, any marketing document let's say purchase or sales based on the item you just created with the link um groups then uh, you cannot change that until uh, you cancel or close that document completely right so after all the document containing the effect items are closed you will be able to navigate the um group definition of um2 and change the conversion rate accordingly if you want so that's how you can change the uh, define define the different item groups so for example you have another item group let's say uh, paper right i'm gonna say paper two and this is also paper right and you have to define the groups for here and i'm gonna say okay the base is still the pack right but in here i'm gonna say one uh, uh, one uh, pa one six pack is equal to the six pack right and in here it would be one carton is like in in our previous one it was 24 but now i'm gonna say it's 30 now right and then one pallet here is i'm gonna say 48 right and you can define the new one or uh, new uh new uh, unit of measurement in the global let's say dual pilot right someone someone more ordering or uh, dual pilot or, or triple pilot right so you can basically define in the unit of measurement let's say dual pilot 
palette right? and then you can select like the two uh, like the one tool palette is would be the nine to six in here so that's how you can define the uh, multiple groups by using the same unit of measurements and then like for example if you change in here for example let's say i'm gonna say uh, paper printing paper let's say right uh, pp001 i'm gonna say printing paper a4 white right and you can select the paper one right here and then you can save it right because we already saved now if you're gonna uh, go back for that particular item and then, so now you can if there is no marketing document exists for that particular item then you can change the um quantity uh, um group and then the item will be belonging to the different um group right and that's how you can uh, you can use the different um group uh, with the different conversion rate accordingly so uh, the uh, unit uh, unit of measurement group can be very useful for for the managing of all the function uh, that related to the item size after a unit of group is assigned to the item master data you can then define the barcode uh, barcode here the unit price by that particular uh, unit and the pricing unit and all and all the deleted items that you really need in, uh, into the into the item master data but the internal into item master data we define the three different type of uh, unit of measurements basically so the first one is the inventory kind right so the inventory unit of measurement is basically the single unit in here like in the single it is the single unit of measure is used for posting all the inventory transaction the inventory unit of the measure cannot be changed once the transaction were made for this item and we have to also uh, keep in mind that the um field in the item master data does not appear if the manual group is assigned right so if it is the manual group then you cannot see the um you cannot see here as you can see this one is manual so you can see this one but as you can uh, we have not manual then you can see the um code in here so that uh, that i was talking about then you can say uh, then the second one is the sales unit and the sales unit of measure is once uh, the item have the many sales unit um, defined related to it then each of these unit can be used for the sales or inventory document same for the purchase as well and each of these code can be used in the purchasing or inventory document and all the inventory tracking and report is done in the uh, inventory unit of measurement for example if you're gonna go right click and let's say you want to check the inventory status or something then it's gonna be there in the inventory um right i guess that's it uh, in the uh, unit of measurements if you have any question feel please feel free to uh, comment down below and i will happy to help uh, so far thank you so much thank you for watching and uh, stay tuned